Member for Saanich North and the Islands. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, over the past two years, I've spoken a lot about our relationship to trees. Mostly, I've talked about how we are cutting them down. But today, I'd like to focus on another aspect of the industry. In 1965, the seed orchard on the Saanich Peninsula, now operated by Western Forest Products, opened its doors. It's now the oldest continually operating seed orchard in Canada. In 1980, a tree nursery was built, and the first crop of seedlings was produced uh, in 1981. Over the years, the seed orchard has produced enough seed for over 137 million seedlings. Five primary species are harvested from within the coastal forest ecosystem. Western red cedar, yellow cedar, Douglas fir, hemlock, and spruce. The fruit of the orchard, such as the one on the Saanich Peninsula, are the cones. Seed is extracted from the cones, and seedlings are grown in the nursery. It's all a part of the vital, uh, a vital part of the reforestation efforts across our province. On a recent tour of the Saanich Forestry Centre, I immediately recognized the, uh, the, the people who work there strive for excellence. One such individual is a constituent of mine by the name of Kathy Cook. She has worked at the Saanich Forestry Centre for 39 years. I was immediately taken by Kathy's passion for her job, from which she is retiring from at the end of this year. During her time at the centre, she has managed the seed orchard, pursuing the mission of the orchard through eight different owners. Under Kathy's guidance, the nursery has an incredible rate of success. In 2018, was her third highest rate of germination at 92.8%. Over her career, which included other seed orchards, Kathy has overseen the development of an incredible 197.2 million plantable seeds. Today, I raise my hands to the work Kathy has done over her career, ensuring that our forests can be replanted. Speaking about relationships in my brief, brief time with Kathy, I can see that she is deeply connected to each one of the millions of seedlings that she has raised. She leaves behind an impressive legacy one that will certainly be difficult to follow. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.